Today we're going to talk about mucor mycosis. This fungal infection that everyone is talking about, is it really life threatening? Are people really dying? How is it really affecting? Which are the people that are more prone to develop this severe infection? What is the point of view of Ayurved? Does Ayurved really have something or you know anything for these kinds of infections? Is there a preventive measure? Is there a complete curative measure? What are the best things that a person can do to come out or to prevent these kinds of severe infections which are definitely life-threatening? Let's understand about mucormycosis in this video. Namaste everyone, welcome back to Jovis. Mucormycosis is a rare fungal infection. It is caused by a group of molds called as the mucormycosites. These are fungal spores, nothing else, the fungal spores and these spores, they are present in the environment. Take an example, if the person inhales the spores, it is going to affect the lungs. It is going to go into the system and develop the possible symptoms. The symptoms, of course, it may lead to death as well. It is life threatening. It is a severe condition. We must make sure that we know we have the knowledge of which are the people that are more prone to develop this infection, which people should be more careful. Those patients who are immunocompromised must be careful when it comes to these infections. The number one are those people who have uncontrolled diabetes. For diabetes, we always tell patients to follow the Ayurvedic protocol, follow strict diet, the intermittent fasting or the, you know, the diabetes diet, the lifestyle changes and certain Ayurvedic anti-diabetic herbs to control the blood sugar level. Those patients with long-term, you know, medications of diabetes or uncontrolled diabetes, the immunity is compromised, time to take action. We just don't require the information. From the information, we need understanding. From information, understanding, we need to take action to get the best results. So control the blood sugar level, very, very important. Moving on to the next aspect, you know, it is those patients who are having a long-term medical condition, long-term drugs, long-term antibiotics, long-term injectables. Immunity is compromised. Those patients who are on steroids, those people who are having an autoimmune condition, the SLE, the systemic lupus, erythematous, the fungal infections, the psoriasis, eczema, the rheumatoid arthritis, the lichen planus, all these are autoimmune condition. The immunity attacks the own body. So in such conditions from the Western medicine, prednisolone and such steroids are used which are immunosuppressant. They are needed. They are needed to save the person's life. They are useful. No doubt, they are very useful, they are needed, but they are immunosuppressant. To save the life of the person at that moment, it is definitely required. So these are immunosuppressant. On the other hand, certain anticoagulants, the blood thinners, the aspirin, warfarin, all these medications, long-term use, people are more prone to this fungal infection. Those with cancer or organ transplant, kidney transplant must be again very much careful. Over here, the whole point is the immunity of the person. Let's understand the symptoms. Number one is the rhinocerebral mucormycosis. It is an infection that affects the sinus and then it spreads to the brain. The person develops one side, you know, headache, nasal bleeding. There is black lesions on the nasal bridge. All these are the symptoms. The second one is the pulmonary mucormycosis, most common type affecting the lungs cough, cold, fever, all these are the symptoms. Third one is the cutaneous mucormycosis. Over here, affects the skin, bleeding, pain, itching, burning, all these are the symptoms. The fourth one, it is the gastrointestinal mucormycosis. Over here, the gastrointestinal bleeding or the stomach pain, all these are the symptoms. The fourth one is the disseminated mucormycosis. The patient who is having a long-term medical condition, already having condition, develops this there may be mental status changes as well in these kinds of infections. We may not directly or immediately make out whether this is a normal symptom or mucormycosis. So diagnosis again, the investigations again, very, very important. 
let us understand the ayurvedic point of view the ayurvedic perspective so if we talk about the ayurvedic interpretation looking at the symptoms studying the symptoms we can correlate this to krumi as per ayurved there are 20 types of krumi and as per the symptoms we see that mainly the rakta and the kaf dosh is affected so we can diagnose this and treat the patient as per the raktaj krumi and the kafaj krumi overall we see great results when it comes to enhancing the immunity and getting over the symptoms in corona we've seen that severe cases serious patients in the hospital emergency care centers patients were allowed to take the prana rakshak kada the madhav rasayan and all the potent medicines and we've seen complete recovery with the ayurvedic immunomodulator similarly in mucormycosis as well it's always best to take the first step ahead to go with the preventive measures first so over here krumigna dawaiya krumigna dravyas the raktaj krumi the kafaj krumi these medications are required those that are having an action on the kaf as well as on the rakta the krumigna karya dravyas vidang is one of the best there's devdaru there is nimba this karanj this musta hinga palash there are a wide range of krumigna medications that are you know enhancing the immunity they are immunomodulators they are eliminating the krumi they are great for the respiratory system as well pimply is one of them pimply works great for skin infections fungal infections it is krumigna as well as great for the respiratory system one of the best immunomodulators it is kudu Guduchi, we have an entire video on this topic. The link to that video is in the description box. Guduchi, Giloy, Tinospora cordifolia, one of the best immunomodulator. Moving on to the next one, it is Vasa, which is also known as the Adulsa, the Vasa Avale or several medications containing Vasa. Extremely great when it comes to mucor mycosis. If we talk about the proprietary medicines, we would of course recommend a combination of either a bronchomed you know activate india bronchomed syrup with combination of sora c med syrup which we've been using on several incurable fungal infections you've seen uh, results all over the social media a combination two to teaspoon twice thrice a day as per the patient's you know condition or at least at least an ayurvedic you know medicine for the healthy respiratory system medicine like the active with india bronco med syrup or certain medicines having herbs like the tulsi adulsa tankan basma all these are needed when it comes to enhancing the immunity and a healthy alternative which works great which you know uh, normalizes the function of the respiratory system wherein no amount of discomfort no amount of symptoms are seen because this is a time where we cannot take any risk prevention is always better than cure i hope you got the information on mucor mycosis this was all for now any doubts any questions let us know in the comment section below do like and share this video further until next time from jovis and the team look impressive be progressive